Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just Be with Mahesh. Today we'll try to see some new GCP web console features which are really cool. A uh, few of them are still in preview stage but the features are really cool. Let's get started. Alright, we are in our web console. The first feature which I want to share is this cross project homepage which is really really cool. The reason is if you have multiple projects like this multiple projects and you should be able to see a complete picture. So previously we used to have one dashboard. So that dashboard only shows that specific projects details. But this cross project uh, dashboard is really cool where it shows details about the current project which I am in. I can just navigate. I should be able to see other details and it also shows what is a service which is hitting very close this is from a different project id so it shows that complete picture is there any stack driver related uh, tickets which has been raised complete stuff still in preview but it is a really cool feature is what i would say so this is the first feature i liked uh, in the the gcp web console the second one um, is the starred preview this is again a cool feature so if you have multiple projects and if you feel like uh, you are going to usually use that very frequently uh, recent was one option but the star is again a cool feature so if for example if i star this batch six so only that is going to be showed now if i have multiple projects this option is going to be really really cool for me to focus on the important project which i need to click so this is the feature number two which i wanted to share the third feature is uh, more like a history. Uh, so the recent is really a cool one. So it shows recently I went to learn GCP with Mahesh project, batch six project. Maybe now if I just go click on uh, say for example, big table, it's going to capture my uh, browsing history. So this is going to be really good when you're doing some demonstrations and you want to go back and forth. It's going to capture that. Now if I go to my history or this thing, recent history it shows that what I did so uh, feature number four and the last one which is really very cool is with big query so if you go to big query or I can use my history also because in the history the recent one is was showing I went to big query so I can just go to big query the big query interface is altogether changed so it has something like SQL uh, SQL workspace data transfer all those things Previously, it was slightly in a different user interface. Now they have tried to put it in a slightly different stuff. And the beauty is you can add multiple uh, tabs basically. So this is uh, again a cool feature. So which was something was expected more from a long time. So you can have multiple editors never tried this part. So this is really going to be a cool feature. So you can add n number of tabs. And it's going to be really, really a, a good feature. So explain the, the number of tabs option. Let me just expand my uh, project ID and there are two data sets. Now, the moment I click on Therama data set, it shows me stuff. Now, if I open this, I have a table called as IoT data. So it's going to show me that in another tab. So I have one more data set which is going to show me that this is a very, very cool feature, which was something expected out of from a very long time. So I can have multiple tabs. I feel like all the four features are really cool. Uh, and since this is already in, uh, I guess this is also in preview. So soon expecting it to become generally available so that we can use this very effectively. I already started using it. I did not see any uh, issues so far. Uh, really cool features and please let me know which feature you like the most in the comment section So that's a video which I wanted to share today short and sweet uh, new GCP web console features uh, Hope you like the video. Thank you for watching